Hey, welcome to the Original Brew Collective Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ben. And I'm Robert. And each episode we review a different beer from a different brewery, and today is no different. We are drinking a new beer from a, a brewery that we haven't had on this podcast before. It's from Jester King. And yeah. so, Robert, can you tell us a little bit more about the beer we're drinking today? Yeah, so if you're not familiar with Jester King, they're located in Austin, Texas. I actually traveled to Austin and was able to pick this one up. Very excited about it. Like Ben said, it's going to be our first from Jester King on this podcast. Mm -hmm. So this one is Das Wunderkin. It's a blended Saison. So if you're not watching with us, I believe this is a 750 milliliter bottle, right? I mm -hmm. think so. It looks that way at least. Yeah. And uh, it's an orange label wrapping around the entire bottle and it, it's, it's a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's a redhead. It's all, it's like, I would, I would say it was steampunk theme. Yeah. Steam, I was thinking right? that too. Yeah. yeah. Steampunk. So it's with steampunk. The, with the glasses. Yeah. So everything. it's a redhead guy with crazy hair and he's wearing steampunk goggles and smiling and has this interesting outfit on. So I'm going to crack it open. Um, interesting thing to note on this bottle as well though, actually, is they put artwork on the top of the bottle cap. Oh. So I'm going to hold that up. So if you're watching on YouTube, Ben's going to show that actually. That's cool. You can look at it. The bottle's actually about to bubble over. Look at that. Oof. Do they, so they do this on... I honestly don't know. Just at this least is... on this, you know, it was on this one. Yeah. Just kind of a dude that looks... What would you say his emotion is? Crazy? <laughs> I don't know. It's like the head he, on this one is a little. I mean, this. I think this bottle might have gotten shaken up a little bit. It's fizzing like crazy. I just had to like sip off some of the head on mine. Um, they were flowing. Just to go, the emotion of this guy looks like he um, heard bad news, but he's trying to stay <laughs> happy. Like smile through the pain. <laughs> yeah, smile through the pain. That's right. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> That's cool though. That's cool that they do that. Man, I'm gonna have to pour this one a little slow for my glass at least. You got a good pour on yours. All right, like mine was starting to overflow. I'm shocked one. at the way that looks. The head retention for a Saison. Yeah, I know, right? You know? Yeah, we're not used to seeing that. Look at I'm that. Not, yeah. And it's not like I poured it too hard. I think, and this bottle was handled with care. It wasn't, we didn't shake this up or anything. We were, you know, treated it like any other bottle we would. Mm hmm. But right away, right out the gate, it started overflowing. I'm interested to watch back. Maybe you just like went for it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. When you pop, when we popped the cap, back oh, that's it started, true. It started overflowing. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, head started already coming out when we popped the cap. Mm -hmm. So right now, if you're not watching, I have my teku. It's halfway poured right now. The head is filling the other half of the glass, and it's like fluffing over the top. Looks pretty nice, actually. It, it's quite elegant. Yeah, I like it. So what do you think of the... Look at that. That's yeah, pretty that, cool. I mean, the head retention on this one is very solid. I'm, Especially for a Saison. I'm not used to seeing this on a Saison. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the, the color on it? It's, you know, there's some visibility through it. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, you can see some light through that. I don't, maybe straw. Yeah, straw yellow. Straw yellow. That's a good description of it. Yeah. Um, mine is, I'm actually drinking mine out of a... A tulip class, and yeah. there's you can see bubbles at the bottom of it, and yeah, but straw yellow is a good description, and Robert's head retention, it's yeah, it's like foam, my, my, it's foaming my teku, over. My teku has an afro right now. <laughs> I like that you just keep pouring more into. I mean, to keep it going. It's yeah, <laughs> it's doing something. It looks nice though. It looks very <laughs> fluffy. It is very fluffy. Yeah. yeah, I'd actually, if you're not watching on YouTube, I'd encourage you to hop on YouTube and, and check it out because that's. Do you hold just, that up to it? Oh, it's fluffy. It's like very. It, it's like, tap it so you can just see it shake a little. Uh, yeah, I'm so curious to see yeah. the mouthfeel on this one. And, but yeah, I mean, straw yellow. The color of this one is definitely straw yellow. That's a great yeah. description of it. We're <clears throat> almost there. I mean, this is interesting. This might. I mean, there's just anything left in this bottle now like I said we have a pretty big bottle here I'm just trying to fill my glass get my pour mm -hmm. but, and uh, right now should we get some down and then yeah maybe you could yeah. pour more in when you need to yeah 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 well actually let's get the, the let's nose, get the nose. let's yeah. get the nose on this man the funk is real on this one mm -hmm. this I mean this is smelling good 
It smells tart. It smells funky. Like a Saison yeah. should. Yeah, this is... It, it reminds me of a Saison. Yeah. Is this one barrel-aged? A barrel-aged? That's a very good question. Saison? I don't know if we actually said this is a 5... What? No, this is a 4.5%? Yeah, this is only 4.5% ABV. So this is a blended Saison. This is a blended Saison. Um, so actually, they listed on the bottles the ingredients. Hill Country Water... Malted barley, malted wheat, hops, mixed culture of brewers, yeast, and native yeast and bacteria. Okay. I, yeah. It has kind of some... Yeah, it's just that, that Saison funk. It's that Saison funk, which I love. Yeah. I can't really pinpoint a certain note of... What it would be. I just get that. I just the tart. I smell it. Tart. tart. The tartness. Tart's a good word for it. Yeah. I mean, just the whole tartness and stuff makes me think a little bit of lemon and stuff, but not like super lemony. Lemony. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Lemony. Lemon. Yeah, lemon. Lemony. That's a a little bit of lemon, maybe. It smells. I mean, it smells good. It smells bright. It smells very bright. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way to describe mm -hmm. it. Let's, uh, I mean, I think we've been talking about the nose. Yeah, let's, let's taste it. Let's taste it. So it has a bit of like a floral taste to it. Absolutely. Yeah, this is funky, tart, and floral. Mm -hmm. Is how I would describe it. This is really good. Yeah. It, like we said before, this is our first, on the podcast, this is our first Chester King that we've done. This is our absolutely the first time we've had Das Wunderkin. Mm -hmm. um, this is really good. This is what I would hope for from a Saison, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know with Saison, it's going to have that, for the most part, it's going to have that funk. Um, it's tart. I think it's tons of floral. Yeah. And the bitterness that comes with that. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of bitterness that comes with this one. Yeah. Like if you were to have, I mean, anything, eat anything that's floral, you're, I think you're going to have like a little bit of a, yeah. a bitterness to it. Mm, for sure. Spot on. This is good. Yeah. There is um, a good amount of carbonation as well yeah. for me. That is absolutely a solid beer. No complaints. This is really good. Yeah. What, it has a... I mean, what a wet finish it leaves like it's pretty juicy in my mouth and it's good. Yeah, absolutely. So today, Ben, uh, we're gonna keep sipping this beer. Yeah, we have a decent amount in our glasses mm -hmm. because this is a very big bottle. We've, I think we've, I think we poured it out. Yeah. Uh, what's our? Oh well. Brewery talk, right? My mistake. We had more. Yeah. What is our brewery talk today? Yeah. Um. Before we do that, I. <laughs> this is just random, but going back to the flavor, I do get the lemon too. Yeah. On it, how you're you mentioned that for the nose, I get that on the taste. Yeah. As well, that lemon is coming through. Yeah. This, so this is good. It's a very uh, very easy drinker for sure. I would actually with the lemon, like in suit with that. It's I and I don't want to like say this right off the bat. I want to kind of say something beforehand what I'm about to actually say. Compare it to. There's a very mild sweetness, very mild. Um, it's not super sweet or anything by all means. So I was gonna actually compare it sl very slightly to a lemon meringue pie. Okay. So yeah. I get that lemon, very mild sweetness. So you know you have the lemon custard in your lemon meringue pie, and you have like that. Is is the white part on the top of lemon meringue pie? Is that the what's the meringue? That's some, that's. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's whipped. They whip that. It's so I it's know almost like that. Her, but. So like no crust, but you have like the lemon and you have like that white cream on top. It's kind of like that, but it's not overly sweet like like that would be. Yeah. Right. But it's so hinting it's, at that. It's hinting. Yeah, it's leading in that direction. Mm -hmm. And you have we have our tartness though. Um, I would say it's more tart than sweet, and you'd expect that from a saison. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is a really good beer. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely a ton of funk. It's just like a funky lemon meringue pie, maybe a little. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. For sure. That's it's great. Um, yeah, so going back to brewery talk, we do brewery talk here on the podcast and what that is, is usually it's just casual conversation and we also do 
trivia a lot of the time of different different things and yep. we are going to be doing trivia today as well and actually usually um, before we um, get into the review of the beer we do a beer fun fact and we didn't do that this episode because we have fun facts with uh, each of the questions we that we have yeah. so it'll be we're going to be dropping those, we're going to be dropping those in and so the trivia today is uh, biggest things in the world yes Biggest things in the world. Interesting. We have a big bottle right here. There we go. Right in front of us, right next to us. So um, it's kind of on theme with that. It's on theme. Yeah. It's Thanks, on, Jester King. It's on theme. And so if you are listening um, or if you're watching, feel free to play along. So Please, how, yeah. How we will do this, we, we only have, it's only five questions, but. Yeah. And um, so Ben's going to ask them, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to answer them. And so I have a phone in front of me. Ben has his list of questions on his phone. And then I'm going to be punching in the answers on my phone. And so at the end is when we're going to reveal, we'll reveal all the, the answers. At the end, we'll so reveal I have no idea. the answers and the fun facts about the questions. Right. Yeah. So, you ready? Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Let's get into it. So question number one for our trivia of biggest things in the world is what is the world's biggest island? I think I know what that is. I hope. I think you do too. Oh, crap. No, okay. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't read into that. I was just... No, I know. I was thinking something and I realized... Good. Yeah, okay. I All think right. I know. Okay. So number one, once again, was what is the world's biggest island? Right. Number two. You ready for number two? Let's do it. What is the world's biggest tree? Oh my gosh. I just saw these in person. And I can't remember what they're called. Where were you? I was down in, uh, down north in California, northern California, in the woods. Obviously, not redwood. It's a, uh, oh, I know what it is. It's just, I, I'm not going to say, but I know. It's literally the name of the place I was. <laughs> Would you say me asking you that helped you get that answer? Sure, Ben. Yeah, nice. thanks, dude. I like to be helpful. I know you do. <laughs> All right, next question. You ready for your next question? Mm-hmm. What is the world's biggest animal? Uh, animal or mammal? Just for clarification. I don't know. Well, it animal. does it say? Animal. Animal. Because, yeah, that covers all species of animals. Okay. Right? I know what it is then. I believe... You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, what is the world's biggest fruit? Number four is what is the world's biggest fruit? This is such a funny trivia. Oh my gosh. So there's this fruit. The biggest thing in the world. Oh, I think I know what it is. And if I'm right about this, and we'll get into this maybe a little bit later if I'm right, or if not, because I'll tell you what I put, it's commonly used as a fake meat substitute if I'm right mm-hmm. you don't have to like indicate right now because I know Ben knows probably what I'm alluding to mm-hmm. I'm not sure they do too okay well hopefully I'm right so okay that's four questions right and yep we, we have five yeah this is the last one all right wow that was that was pretty quick yeah cool we're just well, we're keeping it the world cash biggest things in the world is a small trivia so <laughs> there you go <laughs> what is the world's biggest waterfall This is probably wrong. All right, so going back to the answers. Now, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Read your question so, one. I'll answer, and you tell me yes or no. And hopefully, everyone answered along. And you obviously are like kept track of your answers and stuff like that. You obviously did, I'm sure, mm-hmm. if you answered them. Um. So hopefully, you beat me. Yeah. Actually, no. Hopefully, you didn't beat me. Mm-hmm. Anyways, go ahead. Ben. Yeah. Proceed. I hope you win. Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. All right. Number one was, what is the world's biggest island? I said Madagascar. Madagascar was incorrect. The answer... I quit. <laughs> what is it? It's Greenland. Interesting. So, Greenland's bigger than Madagascar, I guess? Or is Madagascar it's, not an island? It's... Do you know? I don't know. Okay. Well... I mean, Greenland's pretty big. Greenland's huge. Yeah. You're right. I just didn't think of that, I guess. It's I mean, crazy that that's I would imagine island. those are all islands. It, my thought process is was if it's cold. not a continent, 
then it's an island. Is Greenland cold? Greenland is cold. I Iceland is not as cold. I think that there's like I remember learning in school like yeah. Greenland and Iceland. I it's like tr- a trick. It's yeah. the opposite with those names, and so Iceland is supposed to be like really cold and icy, and Greenland or no, opposite. no, sorry, yeah, opposite. So Greenland is icy and cold, and green. Iceland is not so much, and it's green in comparison. Yeah, I don't. Um, know. Never been, so I don't know. Yeah, the world's biggest island is Greenland, and the okay. fun fact behind that is. The sun does not set in Greenland from May 25th to July 25th. Okay, so kind of like Alaska. So for two months, it does it never sets. Kind of like Alaska. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know the timeline for Alaska, but I know that there's certain seasons during summer or certain months or time, weeks. Yeah, and because, it set. I mean, Greenland's northern hemisphere, yeah. so it's up there with where Alaska's at, yeah. at least. But that'd be tough, man. I remember when I was a kid. I guess you could get going black to sleep out blinds and stuff. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid going to sleep during summer. And this is like in California in the Bay Area. Going to sleep. At like 7 at night during summer. And it, the sun would go down to like 8, 8.30 or something like crazy like that. Mm. And just having to go to sleep. And I could hear all my neighborhood friends outside playing. Because mm. they didn't have bedtime. So the yeah. Yeah. It's the worst. The worst. All right. Uh, second question. What is the world's biggest tree? Sequoia. That is correct. The world's biggest tree is a sequoia tree. I was there, and it is a very... I was in the sequoia forest in California, and it is a very humbling experience. Those things are monsters. They're Mm. so big around, it's crazy. That's pretty cool. It's weird. When you touch them, actually, uh, they feel like they would easily float. They're not very dense. Interesting. The bark is almost like a little bit squishy. Like, if you ever touch a a cork tree, um, I wouldn't say it was as... Squishy as a cork tree, I guess, but it it was interesting. It felt a little a little soft. Yeah, mm. it was really cool though. Humbling, that is cool for sure. Fun fact right there. Bark is soft on a sequoia. <laughs> what else do you need yes. to know? Yeah. But the fun fact that we have is sequoias are the biggest living thing on the planet by volume. They can grow up to two hundred and seventy five feet tall and twenty six feet in diameter. Yeah, they get massive around. It's pretty wild. It's nuts. Yeah. The biggest living thing on the planet by volume. So that's not the answer to the next question, right? That was biggest animal is the next one, right? Yeah. Okay, so that wasn't like a double thing. No. Okay, so I did. That's crazy. That is nuts, yeah. And they're right, they're so, I mean, for us, we can just go see them so easily. Mm-hmm. Biggest thing on the planet. The biggest, one, the biggest one actually is in the square forest and they have a fence around it. You can't get, you can't go up and touch it, that one. Uh, did did you have, see that one? I didn't. No, we ended up taking off, but like uh, some of our, sure. our family did. They went and saw. They yeah, because I'm pretty sure one of the biggest redwoods fell down. It did. Yeah. Uh, we're talking, that was like about three years ago. Yeah, three years or so. Yeah. Let's do that. That's very sad. Yeah. I lived a good life. Yeah. The yeah. biggest tree in the world, I think it's the biggest tree in the world, they don't, they won't disclose its location. The tallest yeah. tree in the world. Interesting. Yeah. Because they don't want people to know where it's at. Dang. That's cool. So we got to Google, Google Earth that. Yeah. Find it. Yeah. Find <laughs> it down. <laughs> um, okay. So next question. Yeah. What is the world's biggest animal? So I said blue whale. Okay. No idea if I'm right or not. That's correct. Cool. So that's two. Two yeah. out of three. Um, so the fun fact about the blue whales are blue whales can grow to 33, 33 meters in length and can weigh 150 tons. 150 tons? Yeah, because isn't... So that's 300... Wait, 150 well, tons. Well, I think one ton is 5,200 and something no, one, pounds. No, one ton is 2,000 pounds. Is it 2,000? Yeah. Okay. One ton... I think of 5,000. No, one I ton think, is 2,000. Okay. And how many pounds? Or how many tons? 150 tons? Yeah. So, what... what did, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's math right now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. it's a lot. Times two thousand. It's a lot, and that's how much it could. I'm not to crush you. <laughs> Just by a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd be flattened. Yeah, you would be a pancake. Yeah, that'd be blue. a human pancake. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I thought seeing the sequoias in real life was humbling, but can you imagine like swimming in that'd be so cool, a blue though. whale like. It would be... I can't imagine that. Da- I would, it would freak be, out. It would be a little daunting at the same time, but That'd it would scary. also be very... Like, after you got out of the water and maybe, like, a 
a couple days after, you're like, man, that was so cool that I saw that. I mean, the rest of your life, you'd be like, that was yeah. cool that I saw Yeah, that. but I mean, I think it would take a couple days to like... And they're like it. innocent creatures. They're not going to harm you or anything either. Like, you know, those whales. Are you, they wanna, If you were just swimming, they wouldn't just swallow you? No. <laughs> they eat, they actually eat like little krill and stuff. Like yeah. Tiny little fish. Like, but they don't What if you were in like, like the krill forest? Maybe by accident. Yeah. By accident is what I meant. Maybe. I mean, it happened at what, Pinocchio? So. <laughs> so. I mean, who knows these days? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Um, all right. Next question. What is the world's biggest fruit? Jackfruit. Is what it I is said. jackfruit. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I was making a comment when I was putting my answer before I, like when Ben was asking the questions and jackfruit is a common substitute for meat when you're eating, um, pulled pork sandwiches, actually. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, they, they, well, you can peel a jackfruit and it shreds and just marinate it and whatever sauces you want and stuff. Yeah. And you just throw it in the sandwich. There is a difference. Like, obviously, but I mean, it's pretty spot on. Like the yeah, texture, it's good. if you do it right, the texture and stuff. Yeah. And, and the flavor, because the flavor is all in the sauce. Yeah. It's my, pretty, it can be pretty spot on if you do it right. Yeah, my wife makes a, um, she'll make like tortilla soup, really, and it's delicious, and she'll put jackfruit in it, so it's kind of like chicken. Have I had her tortilla soup? I don't know. I think, I want to say maybe I have. I think you have, but it's been at, we, rec- she recently started adding jackfruit to it, so she like okay. shreds the dra- jackfruit, right. puts it in it, and it's, it's pretty, pretty dang good. I know what I want on my birthday. I'm coming to your house. Yeah. And I'm going to say, I want your tortilla jackfruit Dude, chicken. you soup. should. Yeah. It's really good. Um, so the fun fact about that is the average size of jackfruit is 10 to 25 pounds. One jackfruit tree can produce up to three tons of food per Jeez. year. One jackfruit tree? That's crazy. Three tons? Three tons. Wow. That's nuts. I do wonder... Have you seen them? Like, you could buy a jackfruit, a whole jackfruit. So you could buy canned jackfruit, which is what we've done in the past. If we've done the, the jackfruit pulled pork. But you could buy a jack, a whole jackfruit in the grocery store occasionally. And then you, when I've gone, I've seen them, like, there's, like, maybe three or something. They don't mm-hmm. have, like, a huge supply of jackfruit because they're so massive. Mm-hmm. But they're big and they're heavy. Like, those things, twice the size of a watermelon, probably. Yeah. That's crazy. Roughly. Three tons for one jackfruit tree. It's pretty wild. That's nuts. Hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, last question. What is the world's biggest waterfall? So I think I got this one wrong, but um, I went with Niagara. It's Niagara. It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you I got, you only missed one. I missed one. Yeah. So you got um, 80%. <sighs> I'll live with that. Yeah. It's okay. You only missed one. It's good. Yeah. Um, so the fun fact behind that is Niagara Falls is 167 feet tall. And is a group of three waterfalls. I didn't know that. Three waterfalls. I did not know I that. I didn't know that either. I've been told, though, like, we have the U.S. It side. It beautiful. And it does. We have the U.S. side, and then we have the Canada... It's Canada side. And a lot of people from who I've spoken with say the Canada side is better. Really? Yeah. Hmm. If you're going to look at the falls. Don't quote me on that. Maybe you've been there and you have an opinion. So, if you disagree, sorry. I haven't been there, so I don't know. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Canada side's awesome. I mean, both sides are supposed to be, like, amazing. Yeah. But Everyone from who I've spoken with said Canada side is awesome. Yeah, it looks it looks really cool. Yeah, I'd like to go someday. Yeah, as would I. So once again, thank you for joining us. I hope you did better than me. If you did, better have a good hundred percent. That's impressive. Yeah. I missed one, um, and you know more about islands than I do. Yeah, because that was the one that it I happens. missed. So, but now I know, and knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but once again, we are drinking a our first beer on this podcast. From Jester King. If you don't follow them, go follow them, please, on Instagram or Facebook, whatever it be. Um, we're drinking Das Wunderkin. It's a 4.5 blended Saison. This is delicious. It's a very good beer. We're drinking out of, I believe, to be a 750 milliliter bottle. Really good beer. Picked this up when I was in Austin, Texas. And that is where Jester King is from. So go give them a follow. We're going to keep sipping this. Thank you so much for joining us. If you wouldn't mind, go give um, Original Brew Collective a follow on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Original Brew Collective. Twitter is at Brew Original. And then actually Ben and I have our own Instagram accounts, Mm -hmm. right? So I'm Robert underscore OBC. And then Ben is Benjamin underscore OBC. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give us a follow, if you'd be so inclined, if you think that... Ben is hyper attractive, uh, which most women, <laughs> most women do. Uh, um, then we'll give him a follow. <laughs> um, 
And then um, we'd, we'd really appreciate that. But also on top of that, we're on, obviously, if you're watching, we're on YouTube. If you're listening, um, we're on a lot of streaming podcasts. So if you want to go like, rate, review, we'd really appreciate that. We'd love any feedback, um, good or bad. We really do want to hear from you. And if there's a beer you want us to review, a beer you think we should try, or you want to even trade with us, mm-hmm. we're, very yeah, open, cool. we're very open to beer trades. So always feel free to reach out, whether it be our original Brew Collective accounts or our personal accounts. Mm-hmm. Reach out, follow, like, and uh, reach out. Because yeah. we do want to hear from you. We do want to book up trades. And uh, like I said, anything you think we should review or we're missing out on, let us know. Um, we're going to close this one out. So I do want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us, listening, and playing our trivia. It's always fun filming these. I hope you enjoyed it. But we're going to close this one out with a cheers. So... Ben, who do you think we should choose to today? Who do you want to close this out to? I do have someone. You do, because I have someone. You, but I think you should go. Maybe. No, you should go. I'm going to close this one out to Ben's wife. Oh my goodness. Who puts together, apparently, a mean, mean jackfruit chicken tortilla soup. It's delicious. So, here's to Ben's wife. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.